Hi again, everybody. Frank Fodi, CEO of the TELUS Alliance. Today, I'm going to abandon the old CEO Il Padrino role, and I'm going to go back old school. We're going to get back into this stuff, audio processing. That's where I come from. Yeah, I do the other part, but, um, you know, my heart's in this stuff, and uh, it always got started for me because I always loved getting up every day and thinking about what could I do to make the radio station sound better. And believe it, it's decades later, and I still have that philosophy. Lucky for you, not only do I have that philosophy, but a really strong team of Omnia guys and gals have that same philosophy as well. Today, I want to talk about something that I'm really excited about, and i got to tell you why. I'll tell you about the name of it in a second, but how many times have you been like to a, a live performance, uh, predominantly like a music concert, and when you're there, you know, the bass player they, or the bass drum, uh, you know, is hit, and you get this feeling that something hits you right here, right here in the solar plexus. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Something that's coming for Omnia 11 that we call solar plexus. What it is, is yes, it, um, it's, it's an enhancement for bass, but I'm going to use a couple of rock and roll examples about uh, music that was deficient in this area, and I'll tell you why. Uh, two songs stand out for me. Uh, all of you, or most of you, if not all of you, know that I'm a big fanatic of The Who and Bruce Springsteen. Not to say that we won't throw The Kinks and Dire Straits and a few others in there, uh, along with live steam locomotives. But in any case, think back to the early 70s, mid 70s, a couple songs. Cue up Bob O'Reilly by The Who. And as it's, you know, the beginning, you got that beautiful uh, synthesizer piece there by Mr. Townsend. Um, and then about a minute into it, the drums come in and the bass comes in. And Mr. Entwistle may rest in peace. I'm sure he meant for that bass to be jarring the walls. Except that what you get off the disc is, you know, average bass. Just like the opening to Born to Run by Springsteen. You know, the drums come pounding in. I'm sure the mighty Max, Max Weinberg, expect, he expected the, you know, almost to sound like an earthquake. Now, in reality, when these songs were recorded, that stuff was there, was there in the studio. Problem is, it never made it onto the master tape. So, kiddies, yours truly, along with our talented team here, we did some research. Now, we know that, you know, and, and even us, we've done some things in the past. We tried to enhance bass using some gimmicks, if you will, which I think other people use the gimmicks of where we try to do some sophisticated clipping, create some harmonics, filter them, mix them in, and you know, get all real you know, hoity-toity about it. But we made it even simpler. We looked at it musically, and we said, how can we just naturally and mathematically create the lower register? Well, we have. And what we ended up with is music that has great sounding bass and it can be older songs you know stuff from the 50s the 60s right up to you know through the present they might be saying well okay Frank you've got this on those older songs yeah but what about the current stuff that's got that you know earth-shaking bass well it works on that too and it doesn't overdo it it's all done in a natural musical fashion so that the bass is really there and you feel it almost like we're adding a subwoofer to regular speakers, be it desktop speakers or your car if it doesn't have one, or just your normal listening experience. So the Omni 11 will have this feature called Solar Plexus. It's an adjustable feature, much like the other items are in the Omnia. You can dial in as much as you want or as little as you want. And I think what you'll find is you'll have audio that's meant to sound the way it was supposed to sound. Oh, and there's one other thing I forgot to mention. You know, when you have stuff that sounds a little bit fuller, especially in the low end section. It gives an illusion of something that I know all you PDs out there love to have, loudness. So, look forward to Solar Plexus coming in Omni 11. If you have more questions about it, please feel free to contact us here at Omni Audio, part of the Telos Alliance, and I'll be back at you in not too distant future because one of the cool things about all Omnia products, be it the 11, the 9, you know, the whole list of them, is when you've made that investment, you didn't just, yeah, yes, it's what you saw is, you know, is what you got, but there's always stuff yet coming.
coming down the road. It's like that return on your investment. Solar Plexus is one of them, and we got more coming for you. Thanks for supporting us, and we'll see you on down the road. Take care.